Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. So after last episode's uh, events where we defeated Hugo Kupka, the dominant of Titan, and shattered Drake's Fang, our third mother crystal, uh, we also got to see a little bit of insight into events elsewhere as Barnabas and Harvard, the king and his leader, the leader of his royal knights, discussed events uh, and seemed to imply that they had some uh, insight into a larger scheme of what was going on and also we saw Joshua meeting with Dion, uh, the dominant of Phoenix meeting with the dominant of Bahamut. Uh, we were not privy to their conversation, but Joshua also seems to have some arcane knowledge and information that he imparted to Dion as part of his plan to presumably save the world and rescue his brother from his fate. Uh, we also had another encounter with Ultima, uh, albeit brief, and a lot of things are a lot of things are set in motion. So we'll head back to the hideaway and see what happens next. Let's go. Okay. New quest, Out of the Shadow. Let's take a quick look at that. Clive returns to the hideaway and sets about spreading the glad tidings that Hugo Kupka, the man who crushed their former home and saw many of their friends slaughtered, is no more. Those who lost their lives that fateful night are avenged, and those lucky enough to survive can now live without fear that he might one day return. All right, up we go. Check in with Otto. Looks like we've got some new hunts available as well. And Gob and Jill. Jill seems to be up on her feet. That's good news. Clive, you came back. Hugo Kupka was shot. No one is left. That's right. Thank you, Clive. This way, the chain of the previous chain is broken. Darimir Shikuba no Rubor is the guy. ドレイクファングが消えたとストラスを飛ばしてきたもしかしてマザークリスタルの破壊もお前がああいろいろあったが本当かよ一人でやっちまうなんてお帰りなさいクライブただいま体の具合はもう大丈夫だから次は一緒に行かせて待ってるだけって気が気じゃないから分かってるそうだオットあれからウォールドについて報告は上がってきてないかなんだ世話しないなこれと言ってなかったはずだがビビアンにでも聞いてみたらどうだうん彼女と話してこよう All right, let's check in with our intelligence master Vivian see what she has to say about the state of the realm Yeah お帰り無事に目的を果たしたかお前のおかげさ帰って早々ここに来たということは君も気づいたのだなウォールード王国の不穏な動きにああフーゴを撃つことはできたが奴とウォールードとの関係はわからないままだドレイクファングはオーク族に荒らされていたあの蛮族は灰の大陸にしかいないウォールード軍が自国から船で運んだとみて間違いないだろう他国のマザークリスタルを蹂躙し一方で同盟を裏切った様子があるわけでもないあの国はどうなってるクライブ対象を見つめすぎると全体像を見失うぞあいにく今は君に教えるほどのことはないが良い機会だ今一度あの国のことをおさらいしてみようじゃないか。All right, here's our briefing. Let's find out what Vivian thinks. ハ
愛の大陸の覇者ウォールド王国召喚獣オーディンのドミナントバルナバス王のもとで戦によって生まれた国だそして849年カンベル独立運動865年大陸戦争873年ベレヌス戦役そういった数々の戦火の中に身を置き続けてきた国でもあるしかしここしばらくは不気味なほど沈黙を守っていてねクリスタル自治領をめぐる戦にしてもそうさ同盟国のダルメキアに軍事支援している様子はない灰の大陸は黒の一帯の侵食が激しいと聞くにもかかわらずザンブレクのように新たな領土を得ようという意思も感じられない君の話を受けるならドレイクファングにオーク族を送り込んだことになるがかのマザークリスタルを我が物にしようという動きも見えなかっただが軍備を怠っているという噂だけはついぞ聞かないのだでは次にウォールードの旗がたなびくのはいつか漆黒の騎士オーディンが戦場をかけるのはいつなのかおそらくその時いやがおうでも世界が揺れるだろう。Yeah, what's their aim? What is their grand ambition? 昨今のウォールードはその行動がなかなか表に出ない。風獄プカの一件で久々に直接的な動きを見せたくらいだからな。そうか。だが、朗報はある。少し前に君のおじごが知らせをよこした。あちらでもウォールードの動きを探ってくれるそうだおじさんが助かるないずれにせよ焦っても仕方がない今は報告を待とうじゃないかさてクライブ急敵を打ったことを君から直接伝えてやるといいカタリベやカローンブラックスオン年配の方々には特に嬉しい知らせとなるだろうからなそれで今日の講義台としてやろうお前の口から人を気遣う言葉が聞けるとは私ほど人というものの本質と向き合っている者はいないぞありがとうビビアン早速伝えてこよう OK So we got a lot of folks to speak to you Let's check out the map here.、Uh, if we spread out to the world, are there any side quests available? It doesn't look like it. All right, so we're, we're kind of、uh, limited to the hideaway at the moment.、Uh, I did see, however, that there were some new hunts, so let's check those out real quick. Uh, what's new? What do we got? Wow, there's quite a few. There's five new hunts. All right, so. We've got、uh, a B rank in the Velcroy Desert. We've got a C rank in Dalmechia. A C rank in Dalmechia.、Uh, an A rank in Dalmechia. And an S rank. Oh boy. All right. That's going to be tough. So we'll come back to this in a moment.、Uh, we'll definitely be doing a lot of the hunts moving forward.、Uh, so the next few episodes will probably be consumed by those as we travel the world hunting notorious marks for renown. And other rewards. But before that, let's go ahead and tell people the good news. Let's start with Charon here. Karen. Hey, boy.、Oh, I can't pet you here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> ここ最近で一等いい知らせだね感謝するよクライブこれでみんな前だけを見て進んでいける OK so Karen has the good news let's check in on her、uh, stores or we can ask her her thoughts about、uh, the news as well そうか It's a relief feels like we can breathe again no more living in fear Thank you Clive I know I don't say it often, but I mean it. <laughs> oh, and best of luck, too. For many here, every otherworldly woe paled in comparison to the threat of Hugo Kupka. 
Now that he's gone, we'll finally have time to devote to everyday gripes and grumbles. <laughs> and as the captain of this little ship, I'm sure you'll be on the receiving end of more than a few. She's probably right about that. Okay, uh, we now have a new sword, the Enhancer. Interesting. So our current blade, the Grindstone, has a higher stagger uh, ability than the Enhancer, but the Enhancer does slightly more damage. I don't know that that's necessarily worth getting, although possibly selling, or rather upgrading it at the blacksmith might make the Enhancer the slightly better weapon. We'll have to check that out. Uh, I can go ahead and sell... I probably want to hold on to Invictus, just in case, but we can sell the Platinum Sword. And then the Hunter's Waistcloth we saw before. Oh, she's got some new materials here. So I should remember that we can come here and buy some things that we may need. But most of the stuff we need, I think, we either already have some of or we're more likely to find it in a hunt somewhere. Uh, potions we're okay on. We could use one high potion. And I forgot to use my strength potions in that fight again, so we're okay. We'll look at the we'll look at the enhancer plus one or plus two over at uh, over at Blackthorns. Let's see, what are we wearing? These are both trash compared to what we're wearing. So let's sell them. Uh, probably we have some gill bugs and other stuff we can sell for uh, uh, used in crafting, used in crafting. Valuable can be traded for gill. We'll sell those. Same with these. And I think the goblin coin. These are all used in crafting. Okay, let's go check in with Blackthorn. I believe we picked up one material that will allow us to make a new piece of gear as well. なんだ、よく見え。みんなの仇を取ったよ。風国プカを撃った。長かったな。やっと胸の使いが取れた気がする。俺たちも仕切り直さねえとな。これからも頼むぜ、クレイブ。こちらこそ。Okay, so we relayed that news. Now we'll turn right back around and talk to him again. <laughs> uh, what were your thoughts on the now dead Hugo Kupka? Good bloody riddance. If there was ever a man who deserved a rusty knife in the gut, it was that prick. Not that I'd let you carry around a rusty knife. His death won't bring back the people we lost, but it'll ease a few hearts. Mine included. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at the forge here. Uh, so Enhancer plus one would get us back to 225 on the stagger and upgrade the damage to 240. So that might be worth making. But let's see if we can re what we can reinforce here. Uh, enhancer plus two is actually an impro improvement. Diamond sword looks like it would be the strongest. But I can we craft a diamond sword? Uh... We don't have the white worm bone we would need to craft a diamond sword, okay? So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. The purple ones, it seems, can't actually be reinforced. So enhancer plus one, we could craft that and then uh, enhance it further up to 250 and 235. That would be an improvement. I don't know if that's worth doing with this diamond sword on the horizon, though. We might be able to get that soon. I mean, we've got silk and sash we can't make. Let's go over to craft here. Uh, right. So these we can now make. I think we picked up the scarletite, and we didn't have that before. We already crafted this. So let's go ahead and make the Drake Slayer's bracelets. Yes, uh, I think we'll pass on this until we can get the the diamond sword. Let's look at reinforcements. Nothing we can do here. Diamond armlets as well. White worm bone we need. Hmm. Okay. So we'll keep an eye out for some white worm bone. We could make one thing. Probably we'll make the sword when we find it. Uh, although apparently we can also use it to craft armlets. Uh, the silken sash uh, as well, it looks like. Right. So we want, a, we want a bunch of that if we can find it. Okay, next up we need to speak with Hippocrates. 
So we'll probably take this opportunity to read a few quick bits of lore. Probably we'll just catch up on Lay of the Lands, because some of that will, will have changed. But uh, let's let him know. Hugo's dead. おや、クライブ。どうしたんだね報告がある。フーゴを撃った。そうか。ついに語り部泣いてる。泣いてる。変なの。今日は祝いだ。お前たちの両親にも報告せねばならん。ささやかでいい。祝いの支度をしておくれ
Regardless of the cause, the loss of their mother crystal and the dominant upon whom they so heavily relied soon brought the Dalmex to the negotiating table in a desperate bid for cessation of hostilities with the Empire. Titan, the Warden of Earth, who takes on the aspect of a fearsome stony giant. He is known to awaken among the descendants of the ancient Motes of Earth, a tribe who once dwelled in the deserts of what is now the Dalmechian Republic. By far the largest and most physically imposing of all the icons, Titan's strength was the bedrock upon which the Republic was built. Orcs, a species of beastman native to Ash. Orcs have historically lacked the means with which to cross the Strait of Alpha and make ingress into Storm. However, rumors of their having been sighted at Drake's Fang have begun to spread as of late, along with speculation that they might even have joined forces with their longtime enemy, the Kingdom of Wallowed. Uh, we also have... We read about Lord Harvard. Uh, yeah, we read about him. The Kingdom's been updated. The sole surviving nation in Ash. Wallowed has its capital at Stonehear, home to the Mother Crystal of Drake's Spine. It is ruled over by Barnabas Tharmer, dominant of Odin and Warden of Darkness, who has somehow managed to bring the hordes of marauding beastmen that once plagued his lands to heal, and persuaded them to direct their aggression at his enemies instead. These bloodthirsty forces have been deployed as far afield as Drake's Fang in the Dalmechian Republic. All right, let's catch up with Lay of the Land here. Ash has been updated. Though slightly smaller than her sister to the west, the eastern continent of Valisthea is markedly more altitudinous, her lightly wooded shores guarded on all sides by nigh unscalable cliffs. Having been ravaged by the blight still more grievously than Storm, the Kingdom of Wallowed Wall is now her sole remaining nation. All right. Other red dots include Cressida, a village located deep within the wetlands of central Rosaria. It was once the site of an aqueduct that was hoped would carry water to the capital, Rosalith, but these plans never came to fruition due to both the Holy Empire's annexation of the duchy and a sudden influx of feral beasts displaced by the Blight's march south through the dim. Now it lies abandoned, many of its residents having fled to nearby Martha's Rest. Right, this was where uh, uh, Barnard, the, the, uh, the carpenter, where his parents were located. Their graves, rather. Uh, all right, the Holy Knight's Dragoon. Elite troops of the Holy Empire of Sunbrek, led by Prince Dion Lesage. Drawn largely from the nobility of the realm, their status as Knights of the Sacred Dragon affords them still higher standing in the eyes of the people. In the Battle of the Borderlands in 873, as in so many conflicts down the years, they proudly led the charge as the Empire entered the fray. Looks like the Republic's been updated. Uh, having lost both Drake's Fang and the Mighty Titan, the political situation in Dalmechia has deteriorated drastically. The government scrambling with, to withdraw their troops from the ill-starred siege of the Crystalline Dominion that they might be redeployed to quell the unfolding chaos at home. Makes sense. Uh, we had one more over here. The accession of the Empire. Holy Emperor Sylvester Lesage handed power to Olivier, his second-born son and only child by the Empress Annabella, in a turn of events that shocked the nation. None was more shocked, however, than his first-born son Dion, who was presiding over troop movements in the area surrounding the Crystalline Dominion when the news first reached him. Yeah, we don't, we still don't understand what this was about, why it was done, what Sylvester's thinking. That's a very strange uh, change. We can also read about the fall of Drake's Fang, the mother crystal of the Delmechian Republic, which was destroyed by Sid the Outlaw and his associates in the year 878. Hugo Kupka, dominant of Titan, also disappeared in the attack and was presumed to have died. The loss of their icon led to the Dalmex hastening their withdrawal from the conflict with the empire that was ongoing at the time. The Republican Parliament, seven ministers are responsible for ruling the nation. After the death of Hugo Kupka and the destruction of Drake's Fang, the Republic descended into chaos, and it fell to the ministers to pick up the pieces of their crumbling country. We also have some uh, new information about the Dalamel Inn in and the Briar's Kiss. A literal oasis in the Velcroy, a desert in the western part of Dalmechia, the Dalamel Inn offers goods, food, and respite to those travelers who endure the long march through sweltering sands. In particular, the hot spring baths, fed from nearby waters, will not only ease the pains of the road, but are also rumored to cure all manner of ills, from boils and buboes to the various afflictions to the groin, many of which are likely to be contracted at one of Dalamel's many brothels. As for the Briar's Kiss, Labor's Forge in Dalamel. Its name is known across the Republic for the quality of its steel and the skill of its smiths. The Forge Master of the Briar's Kiss is a man of many titles. Forge Master Non Pere, Desert Hare, Ruzena Dalamel, and dear friend and ally of the late Sidolphus Telamon. 
Uh, moving on, we've now got access to the Velcroy Desert and the Jaw, a vast arid wilderness located in the Dalmechian Republic. The further west one travels, the deeper and more forbidding the sands grow, and the more frequent the signs of settlements long since deserted. To the south, water can at least be found, albeit piping hot, a quality which has given rise to Dalamil Inn and the hot springs surrounding it. Despite the forbidding environment, trade ensures a steady flow of traffic north and south, served by various inns along the way. And as for the Jaw, a wild mountainous region of southwestern Dalmechia, from which Drake's Fang can be seen looming in the distance, or could be seen. Uh, any other red dots? Looks like we've got one here on Twin Side. The former capital of the Crystalline Dominion, after a unilateral maneuver by the Holy Empire of Sam Breck in 873, became the Imperial Capital. Uh, we've got the Isles of Ark here. The cluster of tiny islands upon which the Crystalline Dominion stands. They are largely man-made, having been built on top of existing ruins, and are arranged with an administrative hub at the center surrounded by the citizens' dwellings, and beyond those, the slums in which various refugees make their homes. The glistening spire at the island center is home to the Dominion's mother crystal. Okay. We've also got an update to Convair's independence. The Free City's bid for independence began in 849, when several prominent Convarian guildmasters announced their desire to secede from the Republic of Dalmechia. After a bitter struggle lasting eight long years, this independence was finally achieved in 857. And I believe that means we're caught up on the lay of the land. All right. So, uh, lots of new information there. Obviously, we also have lore continuing... Uh, to be available here in Mysteries of the Realm, as well as the Beastiary and Persons of Interest, but we'll come back to this later. I think that's enough lore for one episode. So, uh, we'll go back and speak to Otto, and then we'll head out on a hunt. We'll get started on some of these hunts. Uh, and the next few episodes will be interspersed with lore and hunts as we kind of try to catch up, and then eventually we'll progress with the main quest. But uh, we'll, we will check in with Otto here, having relayed the good news around the hideaway. カットクの警備が強化されているようです。ビビアンに話を聞くにしては、随分時間がかかったじゃないか。いろいろあったな。Fade black, okay? そうか。風豪を打った報告にみんな喜んでくれたよ。なあ、クライブ。この機会にシドたちの墓参りでもしてきたらどうだ。奴らも心待ちにしてただろうさ。そうしよう。シドやみんなにも知らせてやらないと。ついでにミドを連れて行ってやってくれ。あいつは隠れ家に戻った時も研
some reason I got knocked off here. Oh, because there's an enemy. Oh, okay, we found another mark by accident. The Nine of Knives. Oh boy, here we go. All right, this is an A rank. This is not what I intended to do, but we're doing it. Another one of these guys who spits poison everywhere. Nice, I got the counter. Take down? Yeah, nice. Alright, we don't wanna We don't wanna die here and have to refight this. Ah. There we go, alright. We should get the stagger, alright. Ah, damn it! I was on the wrong I was on the wrong thing. Ah, the poison missed. Get some. There's that block. That's what I was looking for. Oh, so he's got a lot of follow ups, is the problem. Undermine. Wow! That hurts. Yeah, even when I get the block on him, he's got follow ups. Yikes. Alright. I need to, uh, focus up here. Alright, here comes the undermine again. Yikes! Oh, this is not good. Okay, he staggered. Let's go. Oh wow, that doesn't uh, that doesn't stop him. I 
gotta be real careful here. So close. Got him. Okay. Notorious Mark slain. Ooh. <laughs> okay. There's our first. Uh, there's our second A rank. This one went better than the first one. The print, the flan prints. I had to retry, retry twice. Uh, but yeah, having Hugo's Titan abilities and that 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 ability to block really helped. Okay, well, that wasn't my intention, but we got him. Uh, we need to head back real quick uh, to the hideout because we need to refill our potions. We, we did burn through all our potions in that fight, but still, I'm pretty happy with how that played out to uh, not have to retry this time. And I might be able to squeeze in the C rank as well before the end of the episode here. Might run right up to the, the limit of the 45 minutes, maybe a little bit over, but we should be able to squeeze it in. We've got like seven minutes left. I might be able to get two uh, hunts in one episode here. All right, uh, I need potions, I need potions, here we go. I wish I could hold more than three high tonic, or high potions, that'd be fantastic. All right, so we're all re-upped. Let's head right back where we came from and see if we can find the, uh, the, the insects that we're looking for. All right, Ambrosia, let's do it this time. I'm not gonna go get that shiny because there's a uh, there's a scorpion sitting on top of it, and I don't want to get slowed down by some kind of obnoxious combat. All right, let's double check the map. Yeah, we have to go way way up along this path before there should be an obvious three-way branch. Okay, so we go through into this tunnel, and then we bear to the right. Past some Dalmex into the tunnel. I think we keep going here. Yep, okay. And there's our path to the right. And if we follow this for a while, we should get to the area we're looking for. Hopefully they're they're easy to find. The Flan Prince was pretty hard to find, but we know that there's an abandoned hovel that we're looking for. Somewhere in this area. I'm pretty sure it's down here this way. Let me double check. No, we need to get to the fields of Karava, so I actually don't want to follow this. I want to go over here first. I'm going to pick up the shiny. And then uh, down here, and now I think we want to go this way. All right, so now we need to find an abandoned hovel in here somewhere. Probably over there. That looks promising. We're now in the fields of Karaba. This is where these insects are supposed to be. I don't see anything else that could be an abandoned hovel. Maybe over there? Yeah, we got forced off Ambrosia again. Uh, somewhere. Somewhere near here, there should be these insects that we're looking for. Or maybe this is more of a village. This isn't exactly a single hovel. So looking at the map, maybe somewhere up here? Uh, let's see if we can get Ambrosia back. Where are these, where are these, where's this hunt? Where are these insects? 
That might be something up there, that white stone building. Uh, that doesn't look like a hovel, that's a gate to somewhere. Did we go down and around here? That looks like, maybe that's another mark. No, that's just a, a beefalo type creature. There's another one over there. So let's head up this way. That's a curl. I don't want anything to do with that, thank you very much. This looks promising. Maybe this is something? I mean, there's a shiny. Yeah, this looks like it would be technically considered something I would consider a hovel, but it doesn't look like we can get inside. So, huh. What about inside here? It, it seems like they wouldn't actually be, like, literally inside, but who knows, right? Well, at least there's a chest here. That's something. Two goblin coins. All right, so there's somewhere in the fields of Karava, but at the moment I can't see exactly where. Let's hop back on. And let's just keep, I guess, keep kind of running around the area until... Oh, there they are. I see them now. Okay, they're, they're right there. It's pretty obvious. Okay. All right, let's do this. So this is just a C rank. These guys shouldn't be too hard. Soul stingers. Should be okay with our Phoenix ability to launch into the air and do damage that way. Let's just use some area abilities since they're swarming us. Wow. So yeah, they hit hard, but they're almost dead. Hold on, they're using an ability. Ah, yeah. Wow, 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 does that hit hard. Notorious Mark Slain. All right. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today. Uh, so we were able to return back to the hideout, spread the good word, figure out our next move, which is to visit Sid's uh, grave with his daughter and share the news with him. Plus, we were able to hunt two Notorious Marks. So overall, a fairly productive episode. Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video and are enjoying the playthrough. Let me know what you think in the comments below the video or hit me up in the Discord to chat about this or any of my other games. And other than that, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.